This video demonstrates advanced capabilities of Veritas Operations Manager that allow you to have visibility from the application down to the spindle on Storage Foundation environments. During this demonstration, I will be using an Oracle Rack environment with four servers running Storage Foundation that are connected to an HDS array. Initially, I will demonstrate that Veritas Operations Manager identifies databases running on your environment and provides information about table spaces, files and file systems used by the database. Additionally, I will show you historical trends about the file system consumption that may help you plan for your storage demands. And finally, I will drill down to the volume behind the file system used by the database and show advanced information collected from the array, such as RAID levels and information about the volume performance, such as average write time. Veritas Operations Manager discovers databases running on your storage foundation nodes and lets you drill down to get more information about the underlying storage behind it, such as the servers hosting the database and their status, table spaces and their utilization, files used by the database, file systems and their utilization, as well as historical information about the file system utilization. From the file system, you may also drill down to the underlying volume. Getting information about the disks used by the database, as well as characteristics of the LUNs such as RAID levels. And even volume performance metrics such as average write time. As you saw throughout this presentation, Veritas Operations Manager allows you to easily collect information about applications or databases and map them to the underlying storage infrastructure providing end-to-end -end mapping of your environment, better visibility of your storage foundation deployments, allow it to make informed decisions and accelerate your operations. With Veritas Operations Manager, we help you work smarter, not harder. For additional information, please follow the links on the slide.